What's going on everyone? Danny Vega here, also known as Danny V, and welcome back to The Danny Vega Show. Now before we start this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button for more future videos. And remember, when you hit subscribe, you'll be entered to win my 1K giveaway. So once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for one lucky winner. Yep, and guys, don't forget to leave a comment if you wanted to be shout out in my next video. So this past Book of Boba Fett episode should be called The Book of Mando because dude, that episode was bad ass and it just goes to show you that the mandalorian is way more badass than the book of boba fett oh you're right and when you're right you're right the entire episode the mandalorian he's a badass you see him even though he's making mistakes you see him doing something kicking ass taking names but boba fett hasn't done anything in the entire series he's been lying in a tank and i get it he's not healed yet but still it's like dude what are we doing right now it seems like the budget is just going to kenobi i feel like this is like a segue to kenobi and then book of boba fett or even a segue to the next mandalorian series in this episode and he has the dark saber and he can't use it and how do they explain it with dialogue oh you're fighting against it your mind isn't clear is because he's thinking of grogu great call back to grogu i'm just like there's a lot that's happening and it's explained in dialogue bryce dallas howard did it justice now everyone that's like oh now she can direct a star wars movie hold up dude just because you directed three episodes two of the mandalorian and one of boba fett that were great don't get me wrong doesn't give you the green light to go and direct an entire star wars movie i honestly think that if she directed more episodes and they were hits then we can talk about that because honestly i feel having a fantastic mando episode is low-hanging fruit because when you compare it to Boba Fett, anything's better than Boba Fett right now. So for me, let her direct an episode of Boba Fett with Boba Fett and everything else that's happening and make it make sense. Then you have the green light. Let's go. Let her direct a Star Wars movie. But other than that, she did a fantastic job. I'm not complaining. I think it was great. I, honestly, it was the best episode of the series. Now, do I think that it carries all the weight on its back and is going to progress the rest of the show forward and be like, oh, that was a great show. Fuck no. He's out of line, but he's right. But making more legends into canon, because they even spoke if they used the word legends. Every time they had something like that, I did the whole Leo thing. Especially with the Naboo fighter, I was like, whoa, whoa. One thing I, I definitely pointed to the screen was that 80s montage. Dude, all I could think of is like Rocky training. I was just waiting for them to jump up in the air at the end like, yeah, we did it. <laughs> it was great. Great pacing, great story, a lot of callbacks. Bo-Katan about more Star Wars Legends being canon, about that other Mandalorian, I forgot his name, is gonna kill me, but how his ancestor was the one with the dark saber, the whole nine, and how he has to go back to Mandalore to purify himself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka because he took off his helmet. Why don't you purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka? I am fucking all about it man this is everything i wanted boba fett himself to be boba fett was supposed to be that guy boba fett had the shoe spurs first was based off of cliff eastwood like a cowboy everything that mando is is what boba fett is supposed to be and i think this is why there's a big like oh my god boba fett is not great because you took what he was supposed to be already and already did it if the mandalorian was boba fett instead of this new mando i think everyone would be absolutely happy with it i honestly feel like trying to shed what boba fett used to be to be the godfather of space pretty much it falls flat on his face me and my buddy paul were talking about it we were saying that if he had the spiritual experience with these tuscan raiders and that he has the spiritual experience Boba Fett should be walking along the lines of the force. It should be a big spiritual thing because a spiritual enlightenment, you know, a psychedelic just happened to shed his old self. So where does he go from here? And this should be his journey on going alongside of the force, but they're not doing that. Again, they're giving him morals as the Godfather. Have you ever watched the Godfather? Everyone thinks they have morals in the Godfather or Goodfellas or whatever, but they're not really good guys. You can tell everything that they choose. And the same thing with Boba Fett. He's not a good guy, but you're trying to make him a good guy it's i don't know man and really quick i want to give a shout out to my commenters for my last video so here we go just like i said 
that word. Expecto Patronum. Yes, that's the person's name. Dude, awesome. Dudette, dude, I don't know. Can't tell, but guess what? Keep commenting. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. My friends over at Nerdbox. Speaking of which, Nerdbox just hit their 1K, and I'm so happy for them. Go give them a little visit and give them a big like and subscribe and follow all of their reviews. Dazanar. 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. Cabo Art. Thanks again. And then Mark Angel 8, as always. Thanks so much. And as always, if you love this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button for more future videos. And make sure to hit that bell icon so you do get the notifications of when my videos are up. I love you. Be safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.